What's happening ladies and gentlemen? Critic control pest snipers, vomiters, and paper punches out there in YouTube land. I got a good one for you today. I said I was gonna get back to you guys about, about this Air Venturi Avenge X PCP Tactic Cool Air Rifle and some of the new products that we've been testing out on this piece of kit, such as our Terminator rear monopod system. It's a really nice lightweight budget budget monopod that clicks right on to the OEM shoulder rest of the Air Venturi Avenge X. We also have these available for the shoulder rests that come with most of our Tactic Cool stocks. Also too, the m -Lock bipod replacement rail from the Terminator store that uh, we've been using on this Avenge X platform to get more stability, better precision and accuracy. Our Terminator Tactic Cool Avenge X muzzle band, our carbon fiber wiener dog, short dog decimator and 30 dog LDC magnum silencers, our Terminator bear harmonics kits. But really most of all the star of the show of this here video is this Discovery 5 to 24 by 50 SFIR hoist focal plane optical scope. The scope's available on Amazon. Real quick shipping. Check it out. Super sweet piece of kit. Definitely looks the business. I've been using some other pretty decent scopes the past couple of years and uh, Discovery reached out and asked us if we'd take a look at their uh, new high-end unit and they must have been pretty confident that it would blow my other scopes out of the water because they sent this out for review and uh, let me tell you it did just that. This scope comes with 34 millimeter mid-height scope rings, detachable sunshade, instructions, a nice chamois, all the specifications, nitrogen field, weatherproof. This here has scope but a price point has got all the top features of all the trendy top name brands but at an affordable budget where you don't have to have to make all those trendy guys rich you just get the huge zero stop turrets the smooth adjustability of all the knobs the side parallax the focus wheel the included sunshade quality rings the 34 millimeter tube the 50 millimeter objective lens yeah you get all the top features illuminated reticle I mean it's things got the whole nine so yeah I was super impressed out in the field with this new discovery optical scope I'll leave a link in the description I definitely recommend all you budget hunters out there that like a piece of quality kit that doesn't break the bank pick one of these up for yourself and you definitely won't be disappointed so yeah perfect scope for this rig image clarity and reticle is real nice you'll see in the scope cam footage and I was able to achieve really good nice humane shots utilizing this piece of kit the wife gave me the instructions to get a wabbit from the yard for the pot otherwise the family's gonna have to go to sleep hungry so I done did utilize this to harvest up a wabbit for the pot for the wife and you can check that out right next the sun's about to go down except this discovery scope still letting enough light in so that we can get on this wabbit. He's hiding behind that tall grass, sitting at about 37 yards. Ooh, nailed him. Knocked him down with a 26 grain Predator Polymag to make sure we got a clean kill. Oh geez, he's busting the dance of death. That titty tat's trying to steal my dinner. Not on my watch, he don't. Ah! Had to show him who's the boss. Between that polymag having him spray blood all around and get mauled by that titty tat, this cocktail he has looking a wreck. Big old exit wound right there. On the side of the neck from that damn predator. Holy Mac. Ooh. Damn. Cut the jugulus right in half. Got to give it up to the preparation and setup of the CIA Avenge X Tacticule Air Rifle. It's a lot easier to get these things done 
What a properly set up rig. Okay, now we got some protein for the pot. And the King Timonator won't be sleeping on the couch. So yeah, utilize the Avengex to harvest that wabbit. That was pretty quick. And then uh, check out this footage right next out at the farm. And other than that, stay tuned for the next video. I'll leave a link in the description for all this kit. Oh yeah. The ammo that we were using on the farm mission was Louis built sluggers. Man, did they do a wrecking job on them Calida. Oh jeez, them 28 grain Louis built slugs just pancake out, run through these suckers like a buzzsaw. With these here projectiles, the terminal ballistics was just second to none. To check the expansion on these slugs, we ran a quick water test, running them at 930 feet per second. There was nothing much left of these slugs but the base. After the expansion test, they shedded 10 grains of their weight from 28 down to 18. The fragments would be going everywhere in them Bressus's tissue. And they were nary flapping a wing, they were just going straight down. So I'll uh, leave a link in the description for Luis's YouTube channel. You can hit him up. And we went ahead and used the Terminator Tracer Trace put some high-vis orange on the bases of these slugs so that we can see the trajectory know that we're hitting where we think we're hitting and uh, yeah you can check that out in the footage Yep, this image is as bright and clear as them say it is. Oh my god, them 28 grain Louis built sluggers are tearing them up. Stalling. Locked and loaded. It rendered him useless. Another Starlink. Crack team. Junior was out there taking some of his own shots and honing them terminating skills. He thought he was going to knock down another, except his old man beat him to the punch. Union's running on the uh, Avenger Gen 1 420cc bottle, 22 cal, running FX Atomics, 915 feet per second.
he's becoming quite a pest sniper. Sandy yards and still crystal clear. Well, that's going to conclude the shootout. Gen 1, 22 Cal, Compact, Avenger, Voices, Gen 2, Avenge X, 25 Cal. His tail blown off or something, I don't know. Did you have a good time out there? Yeah. You running that Compact 22? Mm-hmm. How'd it feel? Great. Accurate. Very nice.